Let's take a really quick look at how to insert and remove keyframes in Blender. It's pretty straightforward, but just to make sure that everything is clear. Now I must say, first of all, for full disclosure, I am not an animator by any definition of the word. And so I'm gonna use just a very, very basic scene here of a cube. And we're just gonna do a very quick animation, just moving across the screen, just to get the point across. So first of all, keyframes can be added several different ways. The simplest way to add keyframes, if you're looking to just very quickly get up and running, is to enable the record button from the timeline editor down at the bottom. So if you click this, it will then record any transform that you activate. So if, if I just hit G, activate my translate on my cube, and then immediately left click to hit return or to confirm, it will then place those keyframes on the current frame for those channels that were modified. Now, actually in this case, you can see that it's done all channels, not just the location, since that was the one that was done. Uh, and this relates to keen sets, which, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But for now, let's just focus on the keyframes. So we've added in our keyframe. Then if we just move up to any number of frames, move our object over, and then confirm it again, it will add in those keyframes once more. You can see by default, we have a nice smooth fall off. You can find the default for your, your curves and which mode that they're set to for the handle type via the input section, I believe, or excuse me, the editing section, and you have your new F curve defaults. The interpolation is set to Bezier rather than linear or constant. And then we have auto clamped handles by default. So you can change those to, to whatever you wish. Once we've added those keyframes, you can obviously see that we can just uh, move back and forth. We have our keyframes in the dope sheet automatically updating across all channels here, including the 3D view and the, the graph editor. We can do modify our graph editor just as you would expect. And so that's the, the simplest way to insert our keyframes. If we want to delete the keyframes, simplest way is simply to select them, hit X and delete from any one of the animation editors. If you wish to remove them from the 3D view, you must first go to the frame that the keyframe is on, such as uh, you can just hit the up arrow on your keyboard and that will jump to the next frame. And then you can hit I, or excuse me, Alt I, to delete any keyframes that are on this current existing frame for the selected object. So deleting will then insert or remove those keyframes. Now, one other way that you can insert keyframes uh, of several is if you go to any field, such as if we hit N to bring up our properties panel, scroll up to the top and we can see our location, rotation, etc. If we go ahead, turn off our record, although this works for this, the record will record these as well. But if we just record, turn that off and then right click on any one of the fields, we can say insert a keyframe, insert single keyframe, add drivers, remove or add to keying sets, so on and so forth. So just right click, insert a keyframe, that will insert for all of those channels within location, or if you want to just insert a single one, it will do only the field that you click on. Now, one more way that you can insert keyframes from the graph editor is if you have a curve selected, such as my X location, and just control left click, it will place a new keyframe point of your click. And this makes it very, very quick and easy to just, if you wanna get some very simple motion, go in real quick, you can press Alt A, play back, and then, you know, move on with your animation. So you can also delete keyframes from any one of the editors, just simply by selecting them, hitting X. You can also duplicate as to be expected. And one last thing that you'll find is from the toolbar, you can also find inserting and removing keyframes right here. So any number of ways to get the job done, uh, either from the 3D view and the properties view. You can also insert keyframes by hitting I in the viewport. You can find them by right clicking on any value that you wanna, wanna animate. One advantage to Blender is that most basically any value, including toggle option, options and things like that, can actually be animated simply just by right clicking and inserting that keyframe. And this works on basically any type of value or function. And so that's the, the graph editor inserting keyframes in the graph editor, dope sheet, 3D view, properties panel, toolbar, so forth and so on.